In the previous video, we have already discussed about the characteristics of public policy and uh, some things about the public policy making as well. And in this video, we will be talking about the types of public policies. Okay, so uh, there are various types of public policies. Uh, for example, substantive, regulatory, uh, distributive, redistributive. So let's get into the details. The first one um, is the substantive public policies. So the substantive public policies are concerned with the general welfare and the development of the society. So you can say the programs like um, uh, provision of education or um, uh, employment provision, employment opportunities and um, um, you can say economic stabilization, law and order enforcement in the country or any particular state, um, the anti-pollution legislations. All these are actually result of the substantive substantive policy formulations. All right, and um, the substantive policy formulations have a vast area of operation, affecting the um, general welfare as well as the development of the society. So the substantive policies do not relate to any particular or uh, privileged seg segment of the society. And such policies have to be formulated keeping in mind the prime characteristic of the constitution. That is, our constitution focuses on the socio-economic problems and uh, the moral values. So there is a claim of moral, moral values towards the society in these kinds of um, policies substantive policies all right and the next type of policy is the regulatory policy so regulatory policies are actually uh, those policies which are concerned with the regulation of something okay so the regulation of trade or you can say the regulation of business or uh, regulation of public utilities all these come under the regulatory public policies and uh, regulatory public policies actually uh, uh, are uh, uh, done by the independent organizations. So, um, what happens is that government has uh, certain independent organizations and these independent organizations actually work on the behalf of the government. So, for example, um, in India, uh, I can tell you, in India, so, uh, for example, we have LIC. So LIC is an independent organization, but it works on the behalf of the government. Or you can say RBI, Reserve Bank of India, and um, um, the uh, state electricity corporations or the state transport corporations. All these are the independent organizations and they work on the behalf of the government. Okay. And... Uh, uh, let's move to the next type of policy that is the distributive public policies. So distributive public policies are um, those policies which are unlike the substantive policies. These policies are made for a particular segment of the society or a particular section only. Okay, so uh, this can be in the area of um, grant of goods or uh, public welfare or you can say the health services. Okay, and uh, these act mainly include all the public assistances and welfare programs. They all come under the distributive public policies. And um, for examples, I can tell you um, all the adult education programs or uh, the food relief programs, uh, the social insurance programs, vaccination camps. Uh, all these come under the distributive public policies. Okay. And then next we have is redistributive public policy. So the redistributive public policies are those policies which are concerned with the rearrangement of the policies, uh, which are concerned with bringing about the basic social and economic changes. Yeah, redistributive policies are those policies which are concerned with the rearrangement of the policies dealing with the basic social and the economic changes for example the public goods or welfare services policies are disproportionately divided among the certain segments of the society so uh, the goods and services are further streamlined through the redistributive policies as the word says redistribute you club all the policies once and then redistribute them 
to follow the equity all right and then uh, the last one will be the capitalization public policies so the capitalization public policies are basically the financial subsidies which are given by the union government to the state and the local governments these are the financial subsidies which are given by the union government to the state and the local government okay and sub such subsidies are actually also granted to the central and the state businesses undertaking or some other important sphere also if it is necessary apart from the state and the local governments so this capitalization policies are different in nature than the substantive regulatory distributive or the redistributive policies as uh, the capitalization policies do not provide for any of the public welfare services okay unlike in all the mm, uh, previously discussed four types of policies there was some in some way or the other some public welfare was happening right but in this capitalization public policy mm, it it is more of related to the financial subsidies it is not concerned with the public welfare as such it 